Galaxy Watch 3. This mild one here. That's the Gear S3. So this is the first time built up. Let's see if it's got any juice in it. So this is the first start up, so we've got to go through all the settings. I don't know why it's saying restart. Let's press it anyway. Right, now we're all set up. Just let us go through some of the settings and stuff. Right, that's what we'll set up. Obviously, I haven't got all my um, I haven't got all my apps and stuff like I do have on this one here. We ain't got the double tap to wake up right now. Setting, so we we'll have to go into the into the. You can do it on the phone itself, or do it on the watch. So we can either wake it up from pressing the button here or rotating the bezel. So let's see what we've got here. So you've got the activities. Should be all the same. Well, none of the same, but in different order. So obviously I had this one. And I'll set, set this one up to how I want it. Something that's different, like the music player. So what widgets can we add? So you got alarm clock, shortcuts, calendar, contacts, reminder, Samsung Health, Health again, different parts of the health, so that's your heart rate, food intake challenges, blood oxygen. Oh no, I just connected to my um Wi-Fi. Still give me some hints and tips. Yeah, so it's synced to my phone. So obviously it's got the same same steps. Hmm. Just put it on. Tell you what, it does feel lighter and much more snug. Feels it doesn't feel as heavier as the Gear S3. Let's see if we could do um maybe like heart rate or blood oxygen. Let's do heart rate. To me it seems faster than my um Gear S3. Let's put the Gear S3 in the other hand and see. Measure it. So that's an E2. See what this one measures, where are we?
79. Look, it's got some different, different arms. It's a possibility. Yeah, I think they're different, different arms maybe. But this feels tighter, much heavier. This one is much lighter, much more comfortable, definitely. So it wasn't there, but that's my it's an 88% for the blood oxygen compared to the actual monitor itself, which does it much more quicker. <laughs> that keeps falling off, it's just 98.75. This one is an 88.75. That's a Big difference when we're adding blood oxygen. I'm sorry if it was like this, if I go like this, then there'll be something wrong. Obviously, using the proper measurement, it's alright. Well, I'm alright, <laughs> should I say. So, maybe it needs an update or not. Oh, I haven't got it on the right spot, but, um, this is not accurate, right? To me, definitely not accurate compared to the this itself. Yeah, so a few extra features compared to the um, the old Gerus Free. But you got those who don't know, you can make calls from this, make receive calls, get text messages, WhatsApps. You can get through it. Check your email. Stuff from Facebook. So, you see your weather, calendar. That's your store settings. You can even use the use the bezel, or you can swipe across. Microsoft Outlook, music, your gallery, find my phone. So if you can't find your phone in the house, press it. It will find your phone. Um, you could the other way around as well with your phone find your watch through the app you find your watch you've got your speaker here if you can see it if you can't see it and then your mic on the other side so I'll show you that on this one definitely more, more comfortable and much lighter you says your mic this side speaker on this side the same this is much more bulkier bulkier heavier this must looks more like a traditional normal watch but I'll be changing the bands because obviously we're doing a workout running jogging you're gonna need like a silicone band, a rubber band, better than a leather band. You don't want to be sweating in this. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.